Here's a little refresher video about converting fractions to decimals. Um, we're going to start with by turning 7 20ths into a decimal. And so in order to do so, I'm going to start with my little man standing next to this little decimal. And he's going to push with all of his might. And he's going to try to get this uh, fraction to get pushed over. When he pushes it over, we're going to get tipped over this way. And then now I can start to say which number actually goes into the house. So my division bar extends up. I have my 7 under the house and my 20 on the outside. So if I'm setting my division problem, it will look like this. Big thing at these is got to make sure you know exactly which number goes under the house. Um, we're dividing 7 by 20. We should expect something smaller than 1. So that means um, I should know that 20 doesn't go into 7 evenly. Now that I have things set up, I'm going to divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, dead monkey smell bad, dead mom, sister, brother, whatever you may call it. We're going to use that whole long division process in order to help us. My first step is to say, okay, 20 going is, it goes into 7 no times. So that means i got to add a decimal and extend to 0 because now I'm, I pretty much said that 7 equals 7.0. Same exact number, just extending out different numbers for myself so I can have more room to work. So 20 now will go into 70. 20 will go into 70 all of three times. So put line my three up with that zero because I said two, 20 going into 70, not 20 going into seven. Oh, forgot to put my decimal point straight up. As soon as I put my decimal in my division problem, bring it straight up and then it, where, that's where it goes in answer. Now you don't have to think about it anymore. 20 goes into 70 three times, I divided. So now I'm gonna multiply 20 times three and that equals 60. I subtract and I get 10 and then now I have to bring down so now I have to tack on an extra zero, drop that down to the very bottom because I already know that 20 can't go into 10, so I gotta drop that extra zero down. So now I start this whole divide, multiply, subtract, bring down process all over again. Now asking myself, 20 going into 100, how many times? And so that's me dividing, 20 goes into 100 five times. And I'll multiply 20 times five is 100 on the dot. I subtract, I get zero, and I have nothing to bring down because my division problem is over. So 7 20ths equals 0.35 as a decimal. Since we found out that 7 20ths equals 0.35, now I just got to throw a couple extra variations on some different types of problems you will see. If I were to say that that was negative 7 20ths, I still have negative 7 divided by 20. That's a bad thing happening to a good person. That's going to be a bad answer. I know that 7 divided by 20 is 0.35, therefore negative 7 divided by 20 equals negative 0.35. Other variations that you could look at, um, it would be if I had a mixed number. And so if I have a mixed number and I put it as, let me just get my eraser bigger here. So if I have a mixed number, let's say um, 3 and 7 twentieths. So if I have that mixed number, now I know 7 twentieths, I did that division already, I know that equals... I know that equals 0.35 already. So now I know that I have three holes and 7 twentieths. So I already know my decimal is 0.35. And now if I need to represent three holes, now I just know that three holes, well, it stands for three. So I put a three in the ones column, and now my final decimal is 3.35 if my original fraction was three and seven twentieths. So we've now gone through how to do fraction to decimal, how to do mixed number to decimal, and how to do a negative number to a decimal. Hope this helps as we start to prepare and keep moving forward with this chapter. Thank you.